Hi, I'm Stephen Kent. I'm front of house engineer for Fish. We're at backstage in Munich as part of the Welsh Mates Clutching at Straws European Tour. The main challenge of the tour is um, I'm mixing both front of house uh, monitors from the same console. Uh, we have a mixture of some musicians on in-ear monitors, some musicians on traditional wedge speakers, and it's sort of very different stage sound for all the uh, different musicians on the stage. And to be able to do it all from console, from a front of house console, is quite incredible. We have the ME1 personal monitors, which really takes half the work away from me on stage. It just works itself. They can, they don't have to ask for anything. It keeps them comfortable, and they just have a great time on stage because of it. The way that we have our sort of input list and output list set up, we have 32 channels coming from the stage. Then we have four monitor wedge mixes on stage. We have two for fish, one for vocal, an inner pair for vocal and an outer pair for guitars, tracks, keyboards, whatever else he wants to hear. Then we also have a uh, monitor mix for Doris, backing singer, and for Fossil keyboard player. Then for the uh, bassist, guitarist, and drummer, they are on the ME1 uh, personal monitor six system, and they get a direct out of all the channels on the desk. So they just get to hear whatever EQ compression I have done for front of house. They get an individual stem of that and they, they can mix it themselves and they can add reverb themselves if they want. They can add, they have ambient mics on stage so they can really create something different every night without having to ask and they can just they can experiment until they're happy. So this is our main rack on stage. This is where pretty much it comes to from front of house. We have one Cat5 coming from fr the front of house console to a AR2412 stage box. Then we also have a AR84 stage box at the front. So this takes all the drums, keyboards, backing vocals, guitar lines. Then the AR84 at the front has the vocals, ambient mics, acoustic and bass DI. Then this also connects to the ME personal monitor system which distributes for the, uh, those on the stage on in-ears. So another really favorite feature of this desk is how customizable the layers are. So we have the six layers A to F, and on my top layer, this is really a mixture of lots of different things. I have some VCAs, some groups, some individual channels, a monitor send, these are my four vocals, and then all my effects, returns, and this is everything that I need to be able to get to quickly, and this is where I spend 99% of the show, this layer. Then on B and C, B and C is almost a spill of these, this section, so this section stays the same on every layer. So B just comes all my drum channels, but then this stays the same. So if I want to, if I want to change something ever so slightly, on the drums, I can still have access to all the vocals and all the effects, they never leave there. Then the same on C, this is now my guitars and keyboards and bass guitar. And then I have, these are my sort of, my admin layer, this has ambient, ambient mics, this has the communication lines to stage and to our guitar tech, and it has monitor sends and some subgroups. So one of the real sort of things that changed midway through the tour was the new deep processing plugins were added and on the Heath very kindly gave me access to it and immediately made a huge difference. I have the, uh, I'll have to check the name because I can't use the probably the real name, the 16T compressor which is a model of a very famous simple compressor and have, I have that on all the kick drums, snare drum and bass guitar and uh, as soon as I added that everyone commented in their ears everything sounds much more focused the same with the acoustic guitar. Uh, I have the, the 76 Peak Limiter, which is a model of a certain very famous 70s analog compressor. I have that on the uh, on a few vocals, and I have that on the acoustic guitar. And the acoustic guitar really struggled at first because 
we wanted some compression, but we didn't want too much. As soon as I did too much compression, they didn't like it in their inners. Then as soon as I did this, it just tamed everything, gave it presence, brought it to life. But suddenly you just never had to think about it again. It just added something that EQ and comp other compression wasn't adding. And my other favorite is on the drum group, I have the, the Mighty Compressor. I'm not entirely sure what this does, but it just creates huge transients. And on kick and snare and toms, it really brings everything out, just brings so much punch. And I, I have it set uh, with the parallel path, so I have the very, very compressed with the dry added into it. That really gives me really big drum sound. And it's also meant I can bring the drums lower in the mix, but still have them cut through without any problems. I'm a steady checking his battle. So previously on this tour, we've been using the, um, a, a laptop to run some uh, reverbs and delays, just out of either the USB output or the analog inputs and outputs. But uh, since we've uh, moved to the Wave Sound Grid card, and now we've gone from having a few inputs and outputs to 64 inputs and outputs, and the latency has gone from about 15 milliseconds to less than one millisecond, I'd say, certainly at the point where it is not noticeable in any in monitors or not noticeable at any stage, just no noticeable latency whatsoever now. So because I'm mixing both front of house and monitors, there's no console on the stage whatsoever. I have a tablet and this means I could do sound check, we do line check, then once I'm happy out front, I'll have a quick walk around with a tablet, see how it sounds at the front and at the back. It's really, it's not a loud show. It doesn't need to be loud, so I need to make sure it sounds present and full at the front, but it still delivers at the back. Then once I'm happy out front, I go on stage and I help everyone on stage, sit with them, make sure they're happy with their monitor mixes, and I can make adjustments on the fly on the stage and make sure they're happy. So it's a, it's a big, long, long tour. We've covered most of Europe, but it's been good and everything's been reliable. We can't ask for more. I'm a steady, checking his battle. We so the artist Fish, has, he's bought this console for himself. This is going to be his touring setup for the next two, three years. But uh, it's dual purpose, as well as using it for live, it being front of house and monitors. They also have it for the studio. We use the um, USB interface built into it, and it now functions in, in Fisher's home studio. Uh, it gets used every day. We can't.